Hey guys, and welcome back for my week 16 results. I'm so excited. So this week I have lost two pounds. So now my total is up to 38 pounds. A little update on my prescription. So I called my pharmacist because I had a couple of friends that also take Monjaro and they were having trouble. They go to the same pharmacy as I do. And the pharmacist told them that after this month, they wouldn't be able to fill it anymore because the Eli Lilly company is not paying the pharmacy back for however much they're supposed to get. So they said after this month, or we fill up this last time, but that's it. So I was like, oh, well, maybe since I have type 2 diabetes that it will still, they'll refill it because it's the actual mess for it. So I call. And I was like, hey, pharmacists, da, 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 really sweet people, awesome people, love them. So they were like, yeah, it's the truth. After this month, we're not going to be able to fill it anymore. We're just not getting money back on it. And so there has been one pharmacy in town that is still filling it after this month as of right now. So you can try them. So I went ahead and I got my month's worth. And so I'm on my last month's worth until I switch pharmacies to a different one. So I'm hoping, so guys tell me, are y'all having trouble with this? You know, you hear rumors and you see on the Facebook group where they say, oh, we can't get it. And I had to go three uh, hours out of town to get it, pick it up or whatever. Well, if it's three hours out of town and it still only costs $25, I will go. I'm down. I'm down for a little ride. But, so we'll see how that happens. Um, that's just where I'm at at my pharmacy update. So I've got to wait. I got the doctor next week, a week from today, in fact. I'm excited to go. And that way he can tell me what we need to do moving forward about if we need to switch pharmacies or what the latest is on it. And I will for sure let you guys know. I am going to try something new. Now, we talked about it last week, and I said that I might try, that I found these different things, different to, to switch it up to where it's like 10 days between shots. So this is going to be my trial week. So I took my shot, I wrote down the date, and I put it on my calendar, whenever that is, that I took my shot. So I'm going to try to wait 10 days. But if I see at the seventh day, when I normally take my shot, that my appetite's coming back, and that I'm having trouble with keeping my appetite suppression under control, or I'm having the voices about hunger and eating all the time, if I'm thinking about it all the time, then I will go ahead and take my shot. But I'm going to try to do the 10 days. So I will let you guys know in the next video how it's going if I went ahead and took my shot or if I'm going to make it the 10 days. But I'm going to try it. Have you guys tried that yet? Have you tried 10 days? Um, it kind of worries me with the whole don't know if, you know if it can be refilled or not about going ahead and not doing it 10 days. But we're going to try. Oh, something else. So this week I did try the shot in the arm. This is my first time and it really did not hurt. Now I tried a trick. My sister tried this trick whenever she got her first COVID shot. Um, and cause her arm was, they were sharing people, their arms are really sore after they got their shots. So she did like exercises, like stretches and moving around, you know, stuff like that to try to loosen her arm before a shot. So I tried that this time. And I had my shot, and it really didn't hurt. I mean, I could feel the medicine going in. Um, but a lot of that's in my head, because I'm still a shot weenie, remember? I'm a shot weenie. So, I felt it, but not. it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. It certainly did not hurt like the last time I had it in my leg, because that stuff hurt. Something else I've been dealing with. I have noticed muscle weakness. Now, this is mostly in my legs. And I've never really had weakness like this before it's kind of like when you go to get up if you've been sitting for a long time if you go to get up and you almost I hate that I hate to say it this way but this is you might know what I'm talking about you get up like an old person now I know I'm getting up there my birthday is in a week and a half so I know I'm getting up there but when I get up and it's like oh 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 and it takes me and I'm making noises when I'm getting up and I'm walking a little funny I'm like mm, you're losing your muscle tone so I feel like I need to start doing something as far as muscle activity uh, to build my muscle up. Maybe not quite full on weightlifting, maybe like light weightlifting or um, exercises such as DDP yoga. I don't know if anybody's ever done DDP yoga before. Here's a small commercial for them. I love DDP yoga. Love it. 
I haven't done it in a while and I've tried it a few times and I'm about to go back to it because it is legit not bad at all <laughs> and if it was too hard I would not do it and so it goes in steps to where you can make it easier or harder for yourself but I really do like it and so I think I'm going to try that again what have you guys tried have you tried anything like that is there any kind of exercise or weightlifting program that you've used have you noticed muscle weakness um, help a sister out. Let me know what's happened for you guys. If you in, like enjoy a certain kind of exercise, it's not just not just walking all the time. And now I'm not saying I want to go balls to the wall and go running. No, I won't do it. So there's no sense. I mean, I know I won't do it. I know I won't. That's why this Majaro is so awesome for me because it just does all the work itself, and it helps me out in that way. So what works for you guys? Let me know. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.